Okay, guys, we have two scopes here. We have the ETX here. They're both on an EQ6. So this is 127 millimeter. You can see the size difference compared to like that one. But this is 127 millimeter F15 Maxutov, which is 1900 millimeter focal length. So it's huge focal length, but look how tiny it is. And this is a Ducap. And actually the scope only goes to about here. Um, both of them are on EQ6. Both of them can have tracking. And then you have 127 millimeter Acro. Look how high it is, at least on this mount compared to the LXD55. This one can go a lot higher. So this could actually be almost perfect for my height. But look how much taller it's just so much more massive uh, hard to tell how much taller it is um, so it's two different scopes two different setups but let's see what looks what do i prefer which looks sharper now if you guys want to guess before we do this video what do you think is going to have a better overall image quality better contrast better image on jupiter saturn and the moon you guys decide, yes, this is F9.3, still gonna have some chromatic aberration, or this one won't, but what do you think is gonna happen? This one does have a central obstruction, and it is a mirrored telescope, and this one's a pure refractor, although it's just a regular acromat. So why don't you guys decide now beforehand what is more pleasing, what is actually nicer on the planets? Okay guys, so on the Matsutov, we're gonna be using a 38 millimeter eyepiece, which gives, I believe, 50 power. And on the refractor, we're gonna be using a 24.5 millimeter, which gets us 50 power. So it's very, very close. Within two power difference. Why don't I start with the refractor? Okay, again, for an acromat, sharp, but does have color fringing. That looks pretty good. I mean, most people would be happy with that. But it seems to be already focused, or mostly focused. Okay, also looks very sharp. Okay, let me go back to this guy. I would say they're pretty similar. The only difference in this one, I would say, is that that color fringing. That's really about it. Both look fairly sharp. Both, I think people will like it. Okay, let's bump up the power. Okay, the ETX, let's go to a 13 millimeter, which is now 146 power. So we're going three times higher. Ooh, oh, that's close. Oh, very nice. Okay, okay. And let's see what we're gonna use with the mead. The little Okay, look at that. 146 on this guy, 147 and a half on this guy. Oh, you can't really get much closer than that. Okay, let me just move it. Okay, that's also a nice image. Hmm. You know what, to me, it looks very similar. Really don't see any difference. It's really, I would say, a tie on the moon. Why don't we go, let's go to Saturn. Okay, we're gonna go, I would say a tie. You don't see too much chromatic aberration when you're high close, it's when you see the rim. So let's go on to Saturn now. Okay, so again, we're at the 48 and 50 power range, same thing. Okay, looks sharp. Now comparing what I did that last video on the LXD55, this is much more stronger. It, it's very tiny, the uh, image. So, okay, let's focus. 48 and 50 power. They're, they're very close. I, I can't, this one, because of no chromatic aberration, might be just a hair. It's just a hair better, but hard to tell. Both look very good. So, let's go back to 146. 147.5 okay we'll start on this one now nice now let's go here I'm trying to just get perfect focus so I can study it that's a very nice Saturn 
You know what, guys? I'm going to say this is kind of like a tie. Yeah, I would say still a tie. So let's see what we're going to do here. So we're going to bump up this to 238 power. Now, I believe like 250 is the maximum for pretty much both of these. So we're 238. Uh, we're practically at the maximum right now. Okay, the central donut on this one is perfect. Okay, what can I use on the meat? 236, 238, oh my God, that's really close. This is why if you guys like to do comparisons, I would recommend you get a good, like high powered, you could either get like the radians because they come in three, four, five, six, seven, eight millimeters or something like that. You need like every increment of millimeters or you're never gonna be able to reach uh, the, the power. So at 236 here, we're going to do 238 on that one. Two power difference is like nothing. You really can't get any closer. Let's do it. Okay. I can easily say this one is outperforming that one now. And remember though, I'm using the same eyepiece. It's the SV Boney. Uh, three to eight millimeter zoom. So that one was a five millimeter and then this one would be eight millimeter to get the exact same power or two power difference. No, that one is more crisp, more clear. So I can say it is more sharper than this one. Maybe it's because this one has a central obstruction and that one doesn't. Both have been cooling for like, wow, that's cold. An hour and a half, I would say. So, no question, it's good here, but not perfect. Okay, that's good. I'm just gonna do it one more time. Okay, that's good. And then, okay. No, it's sharper in this one. It's not a huge difference, but it is sharper. So, a little bit, I would say less than 10%. Five to ten percent. You know, it's hard to judge percentage-wise, but it is a bit more cleaner here than on this one. Now it is good here, but that one's just a tiny bit better. It's good image, but just a tiny bit better, between five and ten percent, which is not a lot. Anyway, guys, hopefully you like this video here, and uh, just showing you the difference. That one's much, much longer and you really need a tall, tall tripod for it. And even though it's at the highest, looking at Saturn there, um, I'm bending down a little bit. I mean, not a whole lot, but a little bit. So you guys know. This one is, if you're looking for something portable, okay, it's coming very close to a clear aperture. Even though that one has a chromatic aberration, I was actually surprised. I thought this one would perform decent amount better than that not the other way around not that this one beat it by a little tiny bit but i thought this one was still beat it by an okay amount that's it for today i go inside so that's it for today's episode hopefully i'm not sure if that surprised you guys okay guys like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys on the next video this is why i like doing this stuff because you never know what's going to happen now remember too, maybe night to night can change. Tomorrow if it's another clear night and you test it again, maybe it's gonna be identical, you know. So it depends on the scene conditions, but of course we're doing them both on today's scene, today's weather, today's power. And uh, it's just this one edged out that one a little bit. And uh, that's it. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video. If you know anybody who's getting into the hobby or anyone in the forums that's maybe asked something like this, uh, why don't you uh, help me out if you don't mind and uh, share my channel with them. I do have members video where once a month I put a video strictly for the members. It does not go on the private, it doesn't go on the regular channel and uh, that's their benefit. They do pay 99 cents to see it. Why don't you join if you like? Why not you? Why not me?